If someone was to tell me that one ingredient can help with pigmentation, acne, barrier repair, reduce insensitivity, strengthen in your skin, help you with rosacea, hydrate skin, reduce pores, and reduce glycation, if anybody told me this, I would not believe them, but there is science that proves it. This isn't hype, this is niacinamide. Let's break it down. If you're new here, hi, my name is Nadia Benchakrun, researcher and founder of thebeautydoctrine.com with three decades nearly in the beauty industry. I helped grow global brands, but I had to leave the beauty industry because it was all fluff. It's all marketing. And now I'm digging really deep into the ingredients, into the root causes of aging and educating consumers on how to fix them from the inside out and the outside in. So excited for today's topic, niacinamide. If it's not in your skincare routine, you're absolutely missing out because everybody should be using it, but we need to use it right because it can be sensitizing for some of us. I think we can safely refer to niacinamide as the ingredient that does it all. In this video, we'll explore what niacinamide is and how it works within the skin. The skin benefits backed by science, internal, oral and topical, dosage, formulation, and how not to misuse, who it's for and who should be cautious, my product choices and supplements that need the very stringent beauty doctrine standards. Let's start with topical benefits. My personal favorite function of niacinamide is the fact that it helps boost the ceramides topically in your skin, which strengthens that lipid barrier. And that is always my number one goal at the Beauty Doctrine, being sensitive myself, because when you have a compromised barrier, you're aging rapidly and you can't cure anything. You cannot cure rosacea or eczema or acne or pigmentation. You cannot improve. So the very first place to start is always a stronger lipid barrier and niacinamide does a beautiful job of that. The second function is reducing hyperpigmentation. It does this by reducing melanin transfer from cell to cell. In a double blind study, participants who used 5% niacinamide saw a significant reduction in hyperpigmentation in four weeks of use only. Third function, I hear this concern so much and that is pore reduction and oil balancing. Niacinamide does two things beautifully that help enlarge pores, and that is regulate oil production as well as improve skin elasticity. So over time, you're gonna see those tighter pores. That regulation in oil production leads us to the fourth function, which is the reduction of acne as well as inflammation. In clinical trials, 4% niacinamide gel was as effective as 1% clindamycin in reducing acne lesions and fewer side effects that typically accompany antibiotics. Another study showed improvements in wrinkles, skin blotchiness, and sallowness. This was after 12 weeks of using a moisturizer with 5% niacinamide. Niacinamide has been known to reduce inflammatory conditions such as rosacea and eczema, and that is because it will help strengthen that barrier layer by increasing that cholesterol. So our barrier, that protective layer, is made up of fat, namely cholesterol, and niacinamide does a beautiful job of boosting that function, hence strengthening skin's defenses. And this would not be a beauty doctrine or functional beauty video if we didn't talk about internal skin support. So let's chat about oral niacinamide. Very similarly to topical application, internal consumption of niacinamide over a long period of time helps you rebuild those ceramides internally. What does that mean? It means it's going to help improve your plumpness of the skin, skin elasticity, hydration, and moisture. It's not an overnight fix. It takes three to six months to see improvement according to studies. Oral niacinamide intake helps reduce inflammation and acne. It works as an effective adjunct therapy for inflammatory conditions such as acne, rosacea, and eczema. You've probably heard of NAD. There's so much talk about it in the longevity field and all over TikTok. NAD is essential to our energy. In fact, we have it naturally in our bodies. And as it declines, our energy declines. Once it runs out, we expire. And so NAD is essential. We want to boost 
that energy as much as possible and niacinamide does a beautiful job and niacinamide acts as a precursor to NAD. It does this by enhancing mitochondrial function and reducing oxidative stress, both of which are key factors in rapid aging. I'm sure there are many more functions, but a fourth one that I will cover is the fact that it helps protect against skin cancer. This is big, so I'm going to read it. Uh, a phase three trial found that 500 mgs of nicotinamide twice daily reduced the incidences of new melanoma skin cancers by 23 percent in high-risk patients that's better than nothing and of course i'm linking up all of the studies in the description below now let's talk about dosing a generally safe recommendation is 500 mgs twice a day always want to take it with food and if you have any pre-existing conditions, especially liver issues, please make sure to consult with your doctor before taking any supplements, not just niacinamide. Now let's get to the part which I'm sure you've been waiting for, and that is actual recommendations. If you didn't know, I left corporate America in the beauty sphere to curate the healthiest product selection possible for consumers, and you can find that on thebeautydoctrine.com. I am so happy to have found quite a few niacinamide-based products. I'm just gonna highlight a few here, but if you just go on thebeautydoctrine.com, just put the word niacinamide in the search box, you'll be able to see every single product that contains this ingredient. We're all very short on time these days, so I'm gonna go through these recommendations pretty quickly. Number one, you have the Versine. This is for oily, acneic skin. It's called Gentle Active Clarity Serum with azelaic acid. And that's why I say it's for oily skin, or if you have acne prone skin, or if you have rosacea, this is an excellent choice for you. Obviously it's got niacinamide, it's got hyaluronic acid, a bunch of other really great actives, but the star of the show, is niacinamide. I was so happy to have found this brand. They make so many products, but very few of which meet my strict criteria at thebeautydoctrine.com to be completely free of carcinogens, hormonal disruptors, fragrances, all of that. So there is a tight curation, but I was very happy to have found the two niacinamide products. So the first one is the 15% niacinamide for hyperpigmentation. It also has some peptides. Um, so this is Pretty much the most aggressive and the strongest most powerful version of niacinamide that i have on my website so you want to have solid skin to be able to use this or oily skin oilier skin tends to be a little bit denser and more resilient than dry skin so for me personally i'm not that adventurous i'm very sensitive and i have dry skin i'm also perimenopausal and so i'm gonna go for the five percent niacinamide rather than the 15 percent many of us think that the higher the concentration the better not necessarily but in this case this is going to be ultra effective for those with pigmentation but again the caveat is that you're not sensitive blue effects loves to use niacinamide I actually just grabbed three products out of the line but more have it there is the spf this is a liquid serum spf 50 and it's non nano zinc it's perfect it's amazing very light it's good for all skin types from the oiliest to driest i am sensitive i use it i've never seen an issue with it easy easy choice of niacinamide you're gonna wear sunscreen hopefully anyways might as well get one with niacinamide speaking of sunscreen with niacinamide plug in in audacity that's another one that i adore this has a little bit more moisture in it it's a little bit creamier it has a range of colors it's tinted that also has niacinamide really high in antioxidants so those are excellent choices for sunscreen but back to bloom effect two more products to highlight so if you have a lot of issues with your skin so if you're dealing with texture and you're dealing with you know you're worried about anti-aging you're also dealing with pigmentation this is a pretty good pair because they both happen to have niacinamide one is your daytime serum one is your nighttime serum so this one is your royal tulip vitamin c facial oil this is your black tulip overnight retinoid serum and the last product i'll highlight here is the Perez one i'm obsessed with this it's like 30 dollars somewhere around there 
It's called White Tea Fetal Retinol Elixir. It's so gentle and yet it's high in many actives. So you have resveratrol, you have pentanol, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, a bunch of really good stuff, and copper. I interrupted myself there because copper I get very excited about because it helps boost collagen production. Um, and it happens to be a retinol alternative. So it's so gentle. You can use it day or night as long as you're using your sunscreen, of course, during the day. I'm very sensitive and I've been able to tolerate this now for a very long time. I use it a lot in my routine. As far as recommendations for niacinamide supplementation, I am still working on vetting a bunch of different supplements to find the best. Uh, for right now, on thebeautydoctrine.com, you'll be able to find Feel Supreme NMN, which is closely related to niacinamide. Both of them are derivatives of vitamin B3, and both of them work as precursors to NAD. But as far as specific supplements for niacinamide, you're gonna be able to find links in my description below. I'm also going to be adding any recommendations to my supplement guide. Take advantage of all the guides that I have created and they are all posted on the beautydoctrine.com. The supplement guide will have a lot of recommendations across the board. Anything that I find that's phenomenal, that's great for anti-aging or pigmentation or any skin issue, you'll be able to find in the supplement guide. Now back to topical niacinamide, the number one mistake I see is that people overdo it because we have a culture of if you do more, you'll get better results. And that is one of the biggest mistakes that people make. Niacinamide is still an active ingredient. I love it. And I've seen a lot of really good data around that 5%. And so uh, again, I recommended one with 15% with a lot of caveats. So make sure that you are going with 5%, even 4% if you have a compromised barrier layer and it's better to go slow and steady with the skin versus shock it. The second thing I'll say about counterindications, if you want to say, is to not mix niacinamide with other actives that are aggressive. So vitamin C is one of them. And I'm not talking about the vitamin C products that I have on the website on the viewdoctrine.com. Those are more gentle vitamin C alternatives that are also oil based. And so they provide a lot of moisture, a lot of nurturing, uh, not disrupting the lipid barrier. They don't have low pH like the main vitamin C that most brands use, which is L-ascorbic acid, that one tends to be aggressive, sensitizing, just has a lot of issues. I never ever recommend it. And it also clashes with a lot of other ingredients sensitizing your skin. So look at your ingredient label, familiarize yourself with what ingredients and products you're using so you can attain those results without the side effects. If you've used niacinamide for a while, have seen results from it or reactions, please let us know in the comments. The comment section is where we all get to learn from each other's experiences. And that's a wrap for this video. Until the next one, be well, be safe, be beautiful. Take care.